Hi guys, I am Chekwa and I am back with Max XYZ and today we'll still be good be continuing on trigonometric ratios in uh, reduction formulas. Alright, uh, with the, today we'll only be dealing with trigonometric ratio reduction formulas of negative alpha. Remember from the lessons that we have already had when we were dealing with identities, uh, we talked about angles being measured anti-clockwise and angles being measured clockwise. And we said that uh, when an angle is measured anti-clockwise, then it's positive. But when it's measured uh, clockwise, then that angle is negative. All right, just a quick reminder, guys, of what I'm talking about. Um, an angle of theta, if it's measured from here to the to the side, angle of theta to this plane, then that angle theta is positive. But then if there's the very same angle of theta, is measured from the side uh, to this Cartesian plane, then that angle is negative theta. All right, this is positive theta, and this is negative theta. This one is measured clockwise, and the other one is measured anti-clockwise. When it's measured anti-clockwise, it's positive, but when it's measured uh, clockwise, I mean to say, then, then that angle is negative. All right, then let's deal with our reduction formulas when uh, it has a negative angle. All right, for example, the first one in the first example. Okay, remember in this collision plane, we have all student take care, of which uh, all trigonometric ratios are positive on the first quadrant. And what we have in the first quadrant, um, remember, let me just erase this about the angle, guys. Sorry. About the angle, let me just uh, make space. Uh, We have 0 degrees, 90, 180, 270, and 360. All right, in the first quadrant, we have 90 minus theta. And in the second one, we have 90 plus theta and 180 plus theta. 180 plus theta in the third one, and 270 minus theta. 270 plus theta and 360 minus theta, I need to say minus theta and 360 plus theta on the first quadrant all right guys uh from this one we are dealing with uh, trigonometric ratios when it has a negative angle all right uh let's first look at the first one which is sine uh negative 180 minus theta okay this one what we have here guys the first one it says sine negative 180 minus theta. There is no quadrant from the Cartesian plane which has a negative 180 degrees minus theta degrees. But then why, how do we solve uh, a question like this when it is a negative angle, which is not included in the Cartesian plane? All right, what we do, we have sine negative. We take out negatives as our common factor and we'll be left with 180 plus theta. All right, now that we have sine 180 plus theta, we know that 180 plus theta is in the third quadrant of which only tan is positive at that quadrant. But then we have a worry of that negative of, a, of which we took out as a common factor. The negative that we have, remember, all angles measured are clockwise, they are negative, and all angles measured anti-clockwise, they are positive. Then theta, uh, it's negative. Uh, uh, our angle theta, uh, uh, sorry, negative angle, it's negative when it's in the in the sign. Sign, it does not have any negative angle. Then that means that already with this negative, we'll have negative sign and then 180 plus theta. All right. And then from here, we can solve the 180 plus theta, of which we know that it will be negative sign theta since only tan is positive on the third quadrant. Right, then we'll have negative uh, and also the negative sine theta, which will be this, and then the answer will be negative and negative. They will multiply out to give us a positive sine theta, and then that's it. All right, guys. If you have a negative angle, if you have a negative in your in your inside the brackets, just take out the common factor of negative so that you can be left with a much more simpler equation. And then from there, remember, uh, negative uh, sign of negative is negative. But then let's look at something. A negative theta here is negative. All right. When it comes to cos, all right. Let me use an, uh, another marker. 
A negative theta is only positive when it's at the fourth quadrant, which is for cos. Only here, a negative theta is positive. But in all this other quadrant, a negative theta is a negative. But in the cos quadrant, a negative theta is a positive because the negative theta is in the fourth quadrant because all angles being measured anticlockwise, you see, it's coming to the fourth uh, quadrant, it's positive, it's negative, I mean to say. So in this quadrant, it's a positive when it's a negative angle. All right, so let's look at this example to show you how, uh, how to deal with a negative uh, uh, angle when dealing with cos. At cos negative 180 minus theta. All right, cos 180 minus negative 180 minus theta degrees. There is no quadrant in this Cartesian plane of which we have negative 180 minus theta. But what we do is to take out a common factor of negative and we'll be left with 180 plus theta. All right. And then now that we have cos neg uh, into negative and also 180 plus theta, we first look into the common factor of negative. Of which, remember that uh, a negative theta is positive in the fourth quadrant, of which at that quadrant only cos is positive. That means that uh, a negative angle, it still remains as positive cos theta. All right, or a positive cos, I mean to say. It's not yet cos theta. It's a positive cos, cos, and then we'll have 180 plus theta, of which 180 plus theta, we know that that's in the third quadrant, of which only tan is positive. Then that's why we'll have negative cos theta. All right. All right, so let me show you uh, some of the difference. A negative 180 and a negative 180. We have sine the side, and we have cos the, that side. All right, we check we, we take out a common factor of a negative, but then when we come to the step negative side, this negative it causes sine to be negative. That's why it's negative sine. And then for this one, uh, the only difference with sine and cos is that a negative a negative angle it's actually positive in the fourth quadrant, but in the second quadrant it's not positive. It's negative. That's why for this one in the third step this is negative sine, but that one remain as positive cos. And then uh, that's why uh, our answer for cause is negative, affected by the 180 plus theta. But this one is positive because uh, the uh, 180 plus theta, it gives sign as a negative, multiplied by the negative of the negative angle, that will give us a positive uh, sign theta. All right, uh, I hope you guys understood this. Let's do another one, another example. Let's do another comparison, guys. All right, let's compare 360. Three, oh, sorry, sine. I meant to say. Let's compare sine of theta plus or minus 360 and also a cos of theta uh, plus or minus 360. All right, and the only thing we need to deal with is the with the negative because we know that if it's theta plus 360, that means that it's 360 plus theta and we know that 360 plus theta is in the first quadrant of which all trigonometric ratio and that quadrant are positive. All right, then let's look at the negative when it's uh, theta, minus the, th th theta minus 360 and even for that one. Theta minus 360, we have something like this. Then what we have here is sine into negative 360 plus theta. The same thing with cos, we have cos negative 360 plus theta. All right, what we do here, we don't have any in any of this Cartesian plane or, of, or in the Cartesian plane, we don't have any negative 360 plus theta. But what we need to do is to take out a common factor of a negative common factor of a negative and we'll be left with 360 minus theta for this one and then for this one we'll have 360 minus into 360 minus theta all right um, and then the next step remember a negative theta is negative in the second quadrant that means that negative it will have negative sign and then 360 minus theta is this one 360 minus theta is in the fourth quadrant of which only cos at this quadrant is positive. But then let's look at this one. Cos of negative, a negative angle is positive in the fourth quadrant. That means that we have cos into 360 minus theta. 
All right, uh, a negative sign and 360 minus theta. 360 minus theta is in the fourth quadrant, of which at the fourth quadrant, um, a sign is negative. That means negative sine theta, negative into negative sine theta. All right, and this one, cos 360 minus theta, it's positive cos theta, because cos is positive in the 360 minus theta. Then for this one, we'll have cos theta. But then for this one, we'll have positive sine theta as well, because negative and negative will multiply out, and we'll be left with a positive sine theta. That means if we have any angle, if it's sine theta plus or minus 360, or cos theta, plus or minus 360 uh, degrees. That means that our ang our answer is positive sine theta respectively with uh, positive cos theta. Uh, because uh, when we take out an, a, a negative uh, um, common factor, still it gives us a positive sine theta because it will multiply out and that one is not affected because it's, a, it's on piece at 360 minus theta. All right, guys, I hope you understand how to solve um, how to solve angles and negative angles. Let's do one for tan. Let's do one for tan of which if we have uh, tan negative 180 minus theta, for example, there is no there is no in any of this Cartesian plane of which we have negative 180 minus theta. All right, so what we do, we take out a common factor of a negative and we'll have 180 degrees plus theta. Sorry, guys, plus theta. Of which time it's negative, uh, or when, when a negative angle is negative in the third quadrant, it's only positive when it's in the fourth quadrant. All right, that means we'll have negative tan theta. All right, and then in the brackets, we have 180 plus theta, of which 180 plus theta is actually in the third quadrant, of which tan is positive at that quadrant. That means negative tan theta, and that one it will give us negative tan theta because oh sorry actually this is not tan theta this is just tan uh 180 plus theta is positive at the third quadrant that means only tan is positive this quadrant that's that's why we have negative tan theta as our answer all right guys uh just remember that all angles may go to cos theta positive cos theta but when you are dealing with sine of negative theta then it's negative sine theta when you are dealing with tan of negative theta the answer is negative theta only becomes positive when it's cos of negative theta all right guys i hope you understand how to deal with um uh trigonometric ratio uh, with the negative theta all right, guys, please don't forget to subscribe to Men's XYZ and also to continue to share uh, with your friends the videos that we upload. Thank you, guys.